What's up everyone, welcome to AP vs HE. I am Laz with Thematani.com and today I'm going to take you through the two types of artillery shells in World of Warships, and when to effectively use them both. In update 0.3.1, Wargaming rebalanced the ammunition and increased the effectiveness of armor. These changes brought on a meta shift from all armor piercing all the time to include a more tactical variation on when to use a particular am ammunition in varying situations. In the table shown, you can see that the difference in maximum damage on high explosive and armor piercing shells is not very large, sometimes HE damage overtaking the maximum damage of AP. Because of this, the meta shift shifted away from AP to most ships firing HE rounds. High explosive shells are dominant now due in part to the increased damage in update 0.3.1. But this actually stems from a multitude of reasons, the first being that HE shells don't have to penetrate to cause damage, meaning that even a small caliber gun can cause damage to up-armored ships like battleships, that you wouldn't be able to penetrate otherwise. HE shells also have the capability to cause fires, which can stack up to four times across your ship, causing damage over time if the fires aren't put out with the use of the damage control party. Once the damage control party ability is consumed, it will go on to cooldown, preventing the target ship from putting out fires, stopping hull breaches, or repairing modules without waiting for the timer to elapse. Catching a carrier on fire will prevent the carrier from rearming and launching its planes, so forcing earlier use of the damage control party will open a whole chest of vulnerabilities for your team to exploit. HE shells upon detonation, apart from causing fires, have the capability to disable or destroy parts of the ship, including main turrets, secondary turrets, anti-aircraft armament, and ship compartments such as the engine room or the ammunition magazine on lightly armored ships. Because of this ability, the main use of HE shells pre-update 0.3.1 was to disable then destroy destroyers, as shown in the video here. Destroyers rely on their maneuverability to stay alive, so a well-placed HE salvo will typically disable the rudder or engine room whilst dealing significant damage forcing the destroyer to consume his damage control party. And with the damage control party consumed, your second salvo of HE will leave him disabled, forcing him to be a sitting duck destined for Davy Jones' locker in the near future. Destroyers and cruisers with sub 203mm guns should use HE in almost all situations. Cruisers with 203mm guns will use HE against almost all ships unless presented with an optimal broadside shot for a chance to hit the Citadel. And finally, battleships will only ever use HE if they know in advance that they will be engaging destroyers or they are bouncing too many AP shells. With that being said, it is possible for cruisers with sub 203mm guns to fight other cruisers of equal tier with AP if a decent target is presented. With update 0.3.1, the damage calculations were altered to take into account interior armor plating. This has been a key factor to the armor-piercing shells fall from grace. AP rounds now have a high chance of ricocheting or bouncing for multiple reasons, such as the angle around impacts the armor, the caliber of gun firing the round, or the armor thickness. You are alerted to bounce shells through a high-pitched cling. These rounds cause little to no damage depending on where the shell impacts. However, don't let this dissuade you from using AP shells. They are extremely useful if used properly. And I'm going to tell you how. Battleships and cruisers equipped with 203mm guns after the 0.3.1 update still use AP shells. The reason for this is that Citadel hits are able to deal massive amounts of damage if your guns are big enough to punch through the armor into key compartments. In this first clip, I'm in a Tier 8 North Carolina battleship squaring off against a Tier 10 Montana battleship and a Tier 8 New Orleans heavy cruiser which through the use of AP shells, I was able to punch through the armor belt of Montana to score three Citadel hits, which act as a critical hit causing significant damage. The key to using armor piercing rounds post update 0.3.1 is to ensure you hit a flat surface preferably with the broadside of the opposing ship. In this next clip, I demonstrate the exact same thing. I am in the tier 10 Des Moines heavy cruiser fighting three to four other cruisers. I try to disengage from the fight when a hostile Des Moines comes around the island. Due to having AP rounds loaded, I am able to score an immediate citadel hit, killing the hostile cruiser and make a short-lived escape. So now for a short recap of armor-piercing shells. When using AP, you have to be patient. Wait for a good flat surface that you can typically hit with a plunging deck shot or a close to medium range directed to the broad side under the smokestacks or turrets. Next, if you're bouncing your AP shells at close range, don't hesitate to swap to HE, especially if you're piloting a cruiser. The reload time is short enough to frequently rotate ammo usage. And last, always remember, AP has a chance to hit the Citadel. Citadel hits act as a critical strike capable of dealing more damage than the listed maximum AP damage. And now a recap of high explosive. A large portion of damage caused by HE is from damage over time effects of the fires caused. Next. Use HE to disable critical ship components like engine compartments on destroyers. 
Third, HE does not have to penetrate to cause damage. And last, use HE to cause fires to force early use of the damage control party. World of Warships is still currently in closed beta. As updates are released, this information could become out of date. If you enjoyed this video or have any questions, please like our video and drop a comment down below. Expect to see more videos on World of Warships and other games at thematani.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at thematani.tv.